Eddie. Oh my God, me. How are you? Oh my gosh, come in. Thank you for coming. Of course. You called me, I felt like you're crying on the phone. I hate hearing you in that condition. Oh, well, you know, it's been pretty rough lately. I mean, I'll, you know I'm here to support you. If you just want me to listen, I'll listen. You want solutions? I'll do my best to provide solutions, but I know sometimes you just need somebody to listen, so let me know what you need. Yeah, you know, I mean, you... <sighs> you know me, so... I do know you. I appreciate it. Um, you know, Eric and I have just been hitting a really big bump in the road with marriage, and... <sighs> I mean, you know, a lot of the stuff we're going through, and... Yeah. Um, we tried some therapy. How'd that go? Uh, no? No, no, it was... So I, tr I tried going, like, unconventional, you know, because he's been to so many therapists, mm -hmm. and, um, it just was bad. Okay, what do you mean by unconventional? That can mean a lot of stuff. I don't, just not the normal, like... You know, I don't know, just this lady was recommended to me and, and okay. one of my friends was like, you're either going to love her or you're going to hate her. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of, it was my first time, so I didn't really know what to expect, but Eric, he didn't. He didn't like it? No, not at all. He got pissed. And, uh, I mean, was there any resolution, maybe a little bit of a hope, like a glimmering light or something? So, uh, I mean, what did the therapist say? Mm -hmm. I mean, that she's the pro, that's why you pay her. <laughs> what did she say? Uh, she said we needed a date. Yeah, so uh, I thought that was great. We need a date. We do need a date. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> when is your date set up for? Oh, well, I haven't seen Eric in about a week. Really? So, you know, I've been reading a lot of books and trying to work on myself and, you know, going out a little bit more, trying to get out. And yeah, absolutely. I've just been used to being a house mom for so long, and uh, I wanted to finally discover myself, but that also was a problem for Eric because he's used to me being home and cooking and cleaning, and I just, I just got tired, so. Do you know where he's at? Probably with Jimmy. I feel like those two are always together. Every time you tell me a story about your husband, it includes Jimmy. Oh, uh, well, that's his friends, you know, workout buddy, whatever. Uh -huh. I don't know, I just don't know what else to do. I figured you could offer me some type of spiritual advice or something. Like that. I mean, I appreciate it. I'm honored that you called me, you know. I, we've known each other since we were kids, so this breaks my heart too. I don't like seeing you in this condition. I mean, I've been praying for you. I don't know how much that helps, but I've Real been praying. Helps. Yeah. I don't know. Have you tried bringing him to church? <laughs> That's a no-go, huh? I asked, you know. I uh, brought it up before and I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to work on myself. Okay. And other than the date, the therapist didn't say any any she suggestions. Said she had a dating service. She said she had a dating service. She said she had a dating service. How was that supposed to help the situation? I don't know. And who recommended this therapist? Uh, Lisa. How many times have I told you to stop taking advice from Lisa? <laughs> I think since that first day I met you on the playground, I told you watch out for Lisa. Oh my god. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I don't, I don't know. It was stupid. Lisa can't even keep a man. You know this. Why would you take her advice? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not here to make you feel more guilty. I'm sorry. I just, I had a moment. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Yeah, right? I get that. 
I mean, so fill me in. I got the call from you, and I'm here to support you, but, like, what happened? How long has this been happening? I just feel like a decade. I mean, I just feel like once the kids started getting to be teenagers, they, I tried to get myself more out there, and, and, you know, they're a little bit older now, and I can go out more, do some things. Um, he's always kind of had that controlling thing going on, you know, mm -hmm. so... I think that was change, and change is always difficult for people. For sure. Finding out who you are after kids is also difficult um, yeah. for me. And uh, You know me, I haven't had kids yet, so I gotta defer to your wisdom on that. Well, yeah, just, we just, just grew apart. I mean, is it miscommunication? Did somebody step out? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we both are guilty for that. Yeah. Really? Hmm. I mean, then, if that makes sense, then. Yeah. Trust is, trust is hard to come by. You know that. I mean, even you and I have gotten in fights over the years, but we've made it work. Yeah, well, that's different. I mean, you're my friend, you know? Yeah, I get that. I don't know. I don't know how to rebuild it. I don't know how to move forward. How, how do you rebuild trust after it's lost? I, yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to squash it. And then recently we had an issue. Uh, one of his, one of the ladies came by the, the bar and I blew up. And I was just really disappointed because I thought that I moved on past the anger. And Wait, just, one of the women he slept with came to the bar? Yeah. Holy cow. Who's this woman? It doesn't matter. It's, it don't matter who she is. It's just, it's the point. I didn't handle it the way I, I never expected to be in that situation. Right, in the for first sure. Place. And I, I, I just went off. It was bad. Um, I'm a little ashamed of how I actually handled that, even though I think I have every right to be angry. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I don't like that what it brought out of me. I don't like that I lost control. Yeah. You know, and I know you have been to anger management and teach people or whatever. I mean, I never actually asked you for, for help in this area, so I don't know. I mean, the first thing I can tell you, anger is completely natural. It's a natural emotion. And especially um, if... The man you pledged your life to stepped out on you. Like I think it's completely rational to be upset. So I don't want you to beat yourself up for being mad. You know, some of the things I learned, it's not being angry, it's what you do with the anger. You know what I mean? I mean, when this woman was there, did he at least defend you in front of her? I don't know if he so much defended me. Um... It seemed like he was angry at her too. Mm. Uh, it didn't end well. I mean, he, he told me to get, get out of yeah. the bar, but he uh, he asked her to get out too. So I don't know what to do with that. I know? mean, that's something. It sounds like he's like like got internal conflict. You know what I mean? Like he wants to be the best husband he can be, but it kind of seems like his past keeps hanging on. Like he can't move past it, or his past won't let him move past it. Well, I think, yeah. I mean, I, I hope that he wants to be the best husband he can. I, I kind of feel like maybe he just doesn't know how or yeah. also struggling with the trust issue, which he has every right to be, you know. But, like, how do you how do you rebuild is, is where I'm at. And do I want to rebuild now? Or? That's a good question. <sighs> All right, well, I have to be honest about something. Um, he did call me. Um, he knew how close... Just the other week, like he knew how close we were, so he kind of wanted advice from someone who's close to you, who's kind of known you for a while, you know. Um, so it's a good thing. Don't be scared, you know. Like I was surprised when he was on the other line, um, but I mean, he kind of he kind of asked me what can he do to make things right. Really? I think you need to hear that. Clearly, you guys have hurt each other, but I think there's still some hope left.
That's good. I was hoping to bring you some good news. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you're going through all this stress, but you haven't been showing up to church the last few weeks. That's actually the best place for you to be, so. I know, it's. Is there anything we can do? You know I'm tight with the pastor. Well, you're already praying for me, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you know we have women's groups, right? You know, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know about the I, I promise you, you're not the only woman that's ever had this problem. There might be some women there that can help you out. I'm just not into the women group thing, but at this point, I, I, I'm not saying no. Okay. I'm not saying no. Well, we'll keep the option on the table. But yeah, he reached out to me. He was, he's pretty broken. Like, I get it. He stepped out. But you know me, I'm always going to keep it real with you. I'm never going to puff up your ego. You got to be real. You stepped out too. I know. I admitted it. And he's I, broken by that. I understand. I, I do. I understand. And I wanted to start over. There's no excuse for it. It was hurt. Oh, How are the kids dealing with all this? They don't say much, but you know, you could tell. You could tell when they're hurt, you know. I think we all need therapy, actually. They don't like to make me feel bad so they try to just be good kids but you know it's, they're older they see yeah well, i did i heard about your therapy session he told me oh, Jesus. yeah if uh if half the things he said were true I, I think i think you guys need to find a new therapist do you think he'll sit with you and talk with me together or? i'm open to it I mean, the fact that he called me, that means he at least trusts my opinion. I mean, I'm open to it. I'm a product of divorce, too. You guys know that. I'm on my second marriage. So I, that's why I feel your pain. I'm, I'm hurting for you. Just, I, I don't want to get divorced. That's good. Has so, he made that statement? Uh, he, uh, I can't do this anymore. It's kind of, to me, telling me. He's considering it, yeah. you know, um, and I get that I can't do this anymore. I'm kind of there myself, yeah. but, but what is this anymore? The fighting, you know, the not trusting, all those things. Yeah. Those are the things I can't do anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't want to continue with marriage anymore, but we have to be able to forgive. And I know you can't forget, but you can move forward. Yeah. But if we can't move forward, what do I do? Stay in just this? Yeah. You know I'm gonna give you the church answer, right? You already know that that's what I'm gonna give you. Um, we're called to be leaders, especially when it's hard, especially when it hurts. This is your time now. I'm not saying it's fair, I'm not saying it's easy, but if you want your marriage to survive, you're gonna have to fight for it. But if he's willing to talk, I'd, I'd love to sit down with him. I think that's gonna happen now. Hey. What's up, man? Eric, what's up, brother? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, man, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Just hanging out here, yeah. talking a little bit, yeah. How you doing? I'm good. Good, where are you coming from? Work, man. How's the bar? Bar is the bar. Bar is the bar. bar, is the bar. Cool. How's business? Business is all right, man. What's going on here? Just Hanging out with an old friend. Just chatting. Oh, old friend. Are you married, Eddie? Eddie, right? Eddie. Are you yeah. married? I am. I'm my second marriage. Yeah. You're on your second marriage. My second one. So. Gotcha. Let me. Let me. I got a question for you. Sure. You just shared with me that you did call him. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and you know that there's nothing going on here. I mean, you know the man works for the church, and again, so I don't, I don't know the hostility things happening again. It's okay to, it's okay to ask for help. Yeah, your second marriage. Yes, sir. I don't know how you would feel if you walked into your home after working, I don't know, 11 hours, and there is a, another guy inside of your house. I don't do you really- you know that he stopped? You know it. Maria, listen to me. I'm talking to him first. Just one Thank second. You. I'm not, I'm completely not being disrespectful. I'm just asking a simple question. How would you like to come home I'm and a, find- you don't have to go anywhere. I'm not, I'm not. No, because this is ridiculous. You, you asked this man for advice, knowing he was my friend, knowing that he knows mm -hmm. me. And now you're treating him like a stranger in the house. I don't understand. I'm that. not trying to treat him like a stranger, no, no, it's okay. Maria. I'm can, literally just asking a question. Yeah, he can express himself. I, I, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's like, look, I, I appreciate you. I came to you, you know, and seeking help. I did. You know, obviously we're having issues here at the house. I, I get all that, okay, thank you. I, I get all that. The only thing that upsets me at this very moment, I have no ill, anything ill towards you. My literal only question is, especially being on your second marriage, how would you feel if you come home and there's a man inside of your house? It wouldn't feel very good. So I think all I'm saying is please, in the future, mm -hmm. at least shoot me a text. Hey, man, I'm gonna stop by and see Maria. Something like that. It's just out of. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want me in right. your house You're with right. your wife. You're right. I apologize. I'm sorry. I should have gave you the heads up. I'm sorry. She called me crying. My first instinct was just come over and help my friend. So I do. I apologize. Next time I will text you if there is next time. No, you're welcome in our house, Eddie. It's not. Look, man. I know you're a God-fearing man. I wouldn't have called you. Okay, I wouldn't have called you, and I truly appreciate it, all right? And, and that's it, and look, I come in, she's crying. You know, I mean, obviously we're going through a whole bunch of stuff right now. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's, it has not been fun. It is not. And, and, I mean, we tried going to counseling, whatever that was, whatever you want to call that, I'm you know? Sorry. I, yeah. it, it's just, it's, yeah, it's 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 getting very interesting and I'm not sure exactly what to do at this moment. I just don't know what to do anymore, Maria. I really don't, man. I, I, I don't know what to do. You know, and, and it's like I did. I called him because I need some sort of different advice. Obviously, whatever it is that I've done isn't working. So I'm looking for different channels. There has to be a different channel here. Do you mind if I interrupt? I know you guys saw a counselor, they're the pros. I'm on my second marriage, I get all that. Um, but at least I learned from the first one. I know what went wrong and I'm not gonna repeat those mistakes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what I can give you based on my experience is love is a choice. When the, when the things are going well, you're still choosing to love each other. And when things go to hell, you guys are still choosing to love each other. The reality is emotions don't always follow with that. You know that. But you guys have to choose if you want to move forward. That's really it. You know, she mentioned the therapist talked about going on a date. Have you set up the date yet? Have not. Have not set up the date. Actions yeah. speak louder than words, my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I get it. She's my friend. I'm not I'm not taking her side. I'm do my best to be as neutral as possible. Yeah. Let's do it right yeah, now, man. Let me, let me ask you, how do you think that makes me feel? That you can't set up a date with me. And then I walk into a bar and there's a lady there. What, how, did, how, did, how was I supposed to react to that? What, what, would, you, what would you have done? I probably would have slapped her. Well, at least I didn't. 
And I wanted have. to. You I should have. have. I haven't I seen that girl have. for five years. Okay. I, 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 so you're telling me I should have slapped a person? Yeah, I'm just being me. Can we try something? Do you guys mind? I know I'm not a counselor, but I, I kind of have an idea. Do you guys mind? Let's, let's try something. Go ahead. Up for anything at this point? Clearly, the therapist said to get a date together that hasn't happened yet. Let's do it right now. Let's plan the date. What are some of your favorite places to go? I used to love to go dancing. Dancing's nice. There. Mm. I like dancing. Dancing's actually great. You guys get to move, be around other people. When's the last time you guys went dancing? We're gonna change that. Right. What kind of dancing? Salsa, merengue. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit of everything. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna find a. Sometimes house music. Sometimes house music. Okay. So how about we find a Latin club? Hmm. I am willing. That's it. That's all you gotta be. Eric, are you willing? Yes. Thank you. Amen. Latin club. How about dinner afterwards? Actually, no, dinner before. What are some of your favorite places to go? There's this great Colombian place not too far from here. Okay. How do you feel about Colombian? Colombian? Yeah. Colombian it is. So we have dinner. We got dancing at a Latin club. Maybe drinks after. A little nightcap. Huh. I think we're good on the drinking. Okay. We'll see. Let's hope for the best. Mean. We'll see. I'm trying to go into this open-minded. Okay, because I think that's the only way it'll work. So let's just start where we start. Let's see what happens. So if you want to start where we start and see what happens, do me a favor. And if I'm sitting here willing to do, you know, willing to go out dancing, I have no issues with it. You're willing to go to the Colombian place. That's great. I said no drinks and you said we'll see. Do you mean that as a we'll see as in what? As in we'll see that I don't start drinking or, or what do you mean by that? I, I don't understand. I don't think she meant anything bad by it. Let's try to make this a positive experience. You guys clearly have the fighting down pack. You don't need to work on that anymore. Let's start working on positive stuff. No, this is marriage. I tell you that from experience. And the reality is, and Eric, this is me being as neutral as I can be. You both stepped out. You both messed up. Mm -hmm. There's no finger pointing here. If you're gonna point fingers, point them at yourselves. Listen to me, man. All right, I'm cool with your advice. I'm cool with this, okay? Do me a favor, you don't know what happens behind these doors. You don't know the finger pointing or no finger pointing. I don't, I am the best when it comes to looking in the mirror and realizing his wrong, okay? Okay. So when are you going dancing? What's the date? Wednesday. Next week. Next week. Great. Friday? Friday night? I can't Friday. I can't Friday, I can't Saturday, I can't Sunday. Those are the three busiest days at my bar. I can possibly do Thursday. How's Thursday for you? Perfect. Thursday it is. Guys, I'm just, I want to help. If my help isn't needed or requested, fine. I'll, I'll keep to myself. But I get it. I get, I, real talk, I wish I had someone to do this. To sit down at my kitchen table 
and try to help fix my first marriage. Maybe it would have never ended up in divorce. So I just want to help. I don't want to step on any toes. I just, I want to help. So I think we got a good start. We got a date next week, Thursday. Cool. You good with that? Yeah. Awesome. I just got home. I'd like to just settle in my home. Okay, if you don't mind, I'm sorry. We'll see you next time. All good. Okay? I, I appreciate it. I really do. But I mean, you guys can talk if that's what you want to do. I, I'm, I'm, I have to go cleanse myself. I'm literally full of beer and liquor and whatever else from the bar. I understand. Are you okay if I text you guys on Thursday just to remind you about the date? Sorry, I will know. We'll, we'll be fine. Okay. I appreciate you coming by. Absolutely, yeah. Sorry. I want to see you guys make it. For yourselves, for your kids. I will say the fact that you guys have been holding on for this long is actually a good sign. Because either one of you could have called it quits at any time. I wish my ex-wife fought as much as she's fighting right now. Real talk. Cool. I appreciate your real talk. It's okay. I get it. I get it. All right, cool. Y'all can stay here. Um, um, I, I got to go clean up or he can leave or whatever, but I got to go clean up. Eddie, thanks, man. Hey, man, good seeing you. Appreciate it. For sure. <laughs> thanks, man. Take it easy, too. Oh, my God. What the heck was that? That was rough. Well, do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's so angry all the time. He's like, defensive, too. He's, like, he's ready to fight at any time. I don't even understand. I mean, he reaches out to you to ask you for help, and he comes in here like, yeah. like he wants to kill you. Yeah. Do you have any? What? Is, what do you? What are your thoughts on that? He looks very confused to me. Like he doesn't even know what he wants. Exactly. He can't even say yes right away to taking me out. Yeah. Well. Like that's that's. Like I said, let's focus on the positive. You actually have a date in the books now. Yeah, you're right. I know, I know, I know. You're right, you're right. But the reality is this is gonna be an uphill battle. This is not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be like you guys met in high school and dancing at the prom. This is gonna be a lot of work. But this is the reality of marriage. This is when your vows really matter. You said for better or worse, this is the worst. It better be the worst because it, it can't get any worse. <laughs> well, hopefully yeah. things turn up from here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is there anything I can do? It's ridiculous. Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> At least you're laughing. <laughs> At least you're laughing. Oh, shit. Oh. I, feel like, I feel like my job's done. I helped you laugh. You started crying on the phone, and now we're ending laughing. I think, I'm ending like I think a that's a good spot for me to make my exit. Jesus <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. I don't mean to use the Lord's good. name in vain. It's all good. <laughs> it's really good seeing you. It's like oh, old times, right? Oh, wow. No, but <laughs> it's not like The laughter, at least. We'll do the best we can. No, I wish it was like old times. Yeah. You're... Man, you turned out great. I'm so glad to see you turn around. Thanks. Just keep fighting, okay? Yeah, thank you for coming. I'm for sorry sure. okay. about that. That was. This is for you. There's your reminder. <laughs> Don't forget. I'll put it on the fridge. Yep. That's going to be an interesting day. Can't wait to hear all about it. I'm going to head out, okay? Oh, okay. Right. Don't forget you want me. Yes. I'm so good seeing you. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> You're going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be all right. I just. Just keep laughing. Laugh it off. <laughs> 